Hello, welcome to the Vigo County Public Library, West Branch. My name is Eric Fisher, and today we are going to be making homemade mulling spices as part of our Huga series. And Huga is a Danish concept that celebrates uh, joy, simplicity, warmth, coziness, friends and family. And so with these mulling spices, you'll be able to uh, make hot beverages that you and your friends can enjoy. So to make this, we're going to make a simple base for your mulling spices, and that is going to include two tablespoons of whole cloves, two tablespoons of whole allspice berries, and we're going to have about a half a tablespoon of crystallized ginger, and we're using the crystallized version because this is something that we can store and use later, or we can give to friends and family. If you're doing this right uh, immediately, you can just use fresh ginger, uh, it works just as well. And the same thing with the four teaspoons of dried orange peel. You can use fresh oranges if you're making this immediately. Um, you can also just use dried orange peel, which you can either buy or you can make yourself by cutting up oranges and peels and putting them in the oven. And then the last thing that we're gonna put in here is um, cinnamon and it's gonna need to be crushed up. And so, it's very simple to do. I'm just using a piece of parchment and a rolling pin. You can use a plastic bag, you can use a pot, and you just want to break it up so that it's in pieces. So this recipe will yield three um, individual portions that we will put into some squares that I cut out of cheesecloth. You can purchase um, pre-made bags that are made of this type of material that will allow you to steep it into a liquid, or you can just use cheesecloth and make your own. So once we have these ingredients, we will mix them together so that they're well combined. And then once you have them mixed, you're going to place some of your cinnamon in the middle of one of your um, cloths. And then we're gonna put a couple of spoonfuls into this packet here. The nice thing about mulling spices is it's very adaptable to your own uh, tastes. And so if it's too strong for you, you can cut back. If it's not strong enough, you can add more. Um, you can add anything you want to these um, packets to create your own uh, flavors. Some people like additional fruit, additional citrus. Um, other spices that are common are cardamom or um, star anise. Um, you can add um, pepper uh, essence, like cayenne pepper if you like a nice spicy um, mold. So once you have your spices divided amongst your three square cheesecloths, you will take some kitchen twine, and this is about a six inch length of kitchen string, and gather it up, tie it nice and tight, and there you have a mulling spice packet. Now, one of these you can put in about a half gallon of apple cider if you wanted to have mulled apple cider, um, or you can use uh, one of these to a bottle of red wine if you like mulled wine, and really any beverage uh, of choice that you like that's warm um, that you can enjoy. Another thing that you can do with these is just put them in a pot of um, hot water and the um, aromas will carry through your house and kind of give that nice, cozy, warm, spiced um, feeling to the air. Thank you for watching this video on making your homemade mulling spices and join us at the Vigo County Public Library this week for our Huga series and here at the West Branch all week we will have a space dedicated to a Huga um, comfort coziness um, style where you can come and enjoy some mulled apple cider. Thank you.